Jeffrey Turner says, I am not going to ask you about what's your opinion on him vacating his belt to Charlo, which was his mandatory. But what he does ask is, would I like to see Canelo versus David? Shout out to Jeffrey Turner because it's obvious he doesn't listen to my videos too often or he just new to the channel. But I've been saying in previous videos, I'd rather see Canelo fight David Benavides than him go up there to fight Dimitri Bivol. But you know, Canelo's trying to avenge his loss. I ain't mad at him. Now when it comes to Jamal Charlo, first of all, Jamal Charlo rejected a lucrative offer to fight Canelo. I think it was around seven or $8 million, but the PBC did not want Jamal Charlo to fight on the zone. So Jamal Charlo was offered a fight, but the PBC wasn't getting a piece of it, so they wouldn't let him fight. That's my, that's my opinion. Now, when it says Jamal Charlo was a mandatory, he was never a mandatory. He was number one by the WBC, but the WBC never mandated the fight. So Jamal Charlo was never Canelo's mandatory. Just ranked number one in the WBC. Gotta ask you too, um, Canelo, he's getting a lot of criticism. Uh, over this last fight that he had with John Ryder, a lot of people suggesting that he's, he's past his prime, that the, the decline has started. What do you make about that? Man, we've been said that on Pro Box TV, you know, um, had been, but he's still Canelo. But it's a way a champ go out, man. You know what I mean? Champ don't, you know, if you, you gotta turn it over to somebody, bro. You know, fight somebody that's deserving of that opportunity. But, yeah, Canelo, I think he needs to fight a deserving fighter, bro. Somebody that that he thinks if he wins, he can carry that torch and, and be, uh, uh, he can be happy for the guy that defeat him if somebody defeat him. If a, a guy like, you know, uh, Benavidez or Shot, uh, I mean, uh, even though I like Andrade, man, I like him because he's been out there so long. Former light heavyweight champ, Antonio Tarver, feels that Canelo is past it. What I don't get is Demetrius Andre looks past it too. He's 34 years old. Why would he pass the torch to Demetrius Andre? But that's another story. He also feels Canelo should prepare himself to ride off in the sunset. Find someone to take his spot to become the face of boxing. Andre will never be the face of boxing. And some people believe that David Benavides is the man to take over boxing after Canelo retires. And Tarver also says, but he's not the only one. There are fans out there that believe the only fight out there Canelo should take is against David Benavides. Even though they feel that Dimitri Bibble is a bigger challenge. Even I'd rather see Canelo versus David. And I think it's a bigger fight than Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia, big time. And it's also a bigger fight than Dimitri Bivol. And I would favor Canelo over Benavides, even though I think Benavides is a good fighter. But with that being said, I do think Dimitri Bivol is a bigger challenge for Canelo than Benavides is. Now, I don't agree with Antonio Tarver when he says Canelo's past his prime. Is he the same Canelo he was two or three years ago? No, he's not. But I do agree with them. The Benin's Vitas fight should happen sometime down the line. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what you think about Antonio Tarver's comments. JBZ, I'm gone.